Did you put away any toner foil you had when the hot foil craze hit? I think you will be amazed, as I was, at all the new and inexpensive, innovative toner foil products available now. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I love the sparkle of foil but did not want to spend lots of money on specialty dyes to be used only with the hot foil machines. I received all the new Color Harmony Deco Foils and some other inexpensive toner products and have made many cards to share with you. Just look at the sparkle and beauty of all these new colors of Deco Foil. My favorites are always the ones that have sparkle and pattern and movement in them but each package has four different shades and 20 total sheets so you can make 20 to 40 cards with these this one is one of my favorites it's the ocean hearts teal set this is another favorite it's the coral watercolor and oranges so you can see the four different shades Look at this purple leopard pattern, and again, four different shades of it. I love this one. It's a beautiful gold wood grain, but it's also um, has, look at this copper. You know, all the colors are just beautiful. And again, the movement in those. I don't know if the lights are driving you nuts there, but um, this uh, disco and rose gold and another pretty copper. The red has these this pattern here and four different shades. Here is the pretty blue. It's like a leopard. I uh, can see making a real masculine card with that, as well as with this black and uh, silver zebra type pattern. Here is a really pretty pink um, floral. And then we have some um, other shades of pink and then here is the green so many 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 colors um, available now uh, from deco foil that weren't before um, I also played with new toner card fronts from Thermoweb um, like this one from unity and then this lace one and then these uh, smitten ones and they all have eight different pieces so you can easily make eight cards here's the first card that I made and I did that with that uh, pretty peachy coral watercolor one and um, this set I'm going to show you in just seconds how to get that beautiful look but years ago we also used the leftover foil with a black toner sheet and I uh, to create a second card. So the foil was never wasted and this card turned out beautiful. But what if you didn't want black for that second color? So I made this beautiful card with um, the lavish lace toner card front and um, it was so easy to make but I didn't really want black lace for the second um, layer so I made this card and the product that I'm using and I'm going to demo in a minute is the polyglaze foiling sheets the white ones from Gina K so instead of black for the second pattern um, which can be very pretty as I showed you on the first cards um, the white polyglaze, it's the second time through, the part that uh, wasn't foiled is going to be white. So, this is the look that you can achieve with that. So, let's do one. I'm using my favorite of the new foils, which is the uh, Teal Hearts, Sparkly Hearts. And I have um, this very pretty toner sheet and you know the the black parts on there are toner so that's what's going to grab the foil so all we do is we put the foil on top of that toner sheet toner card front and you're going to run it through either a laminator or a mink 
Now I like my mink. It maintains the heat evenly um, and it works for other techniques that you needed to get hotter, but a laminator, inexpensive, will work for all the techniques that I'm demoing today. So if you don't have one, you can find uh, an inexpensive one like Sovereign is a really good one um, that will do all these techniques. I just, like my mink, I um, do a napkin technique where I attach napkins with uh, saran wrap and the mink will get hot enough to do that. So um, it's one of my favorite old techniques that I haven't played with for a while. And you always have to just wait for it to come through. And then we're going to put it through a second time. And this time we're going to use the white um, sheets from Gina K. And you want to make sure there's there's two sides. One feels like a regular cardstock and one feels like it has a little uh, coating on it. And that's the side that you want. So the big reveal, which is always very, very beautiful. Just look at those flowers and you can see that teal little hearts in there moving. That's just beautiful. But this sheet is way, way, way too beautiful to waste. So we're going to lay that over the white uh, toner. Uh, it's not toner, it's the polyglaze sheet. And then we're going to run that through again. Here's another card I made. I did the first love layer um, with the red sparkly and then I ran the, the leftover through with a white polyglaze uh, sheet and then I die cut it out so that the love pattern continues through the heart to the background. So again, you know, it's really nice to have that option of having white in that second layer rather than black. We probably wouldn't have wanted the flowers on here to be totally black. So there is a little bit of a sheet that you pull off here. As you can see, no waste. And our second sheet, once again, has all those beautiful heart sparkles and it has the flowers and the pattern in white. So um, that is a great new tool that has come out. But what if I didn't want white or black for the second layer? So Pink and Main has come out with, and I think there might be some other companies too, but the ones that I have are from Pink and Main. They're foilables. They're color art toner sheets. They have them in like the fall colors, golds and rusts, and then they have them in other patterns too. Um, this happens to be the one that I'm using today, which is uh, just beautiful colored, um, different colored sheets. So if you can look here, this gold part here was what I put through first. And then I put the second um, leftover foil through again. And it and it, on the back here, on the part that would have been black, is now pinks and blues. Isn't that cool? So, so many options available now. Um, I chose a um, Ann Butler... Uh, toner sheet because what I wanted was something that was uh, had bigger a bolder pattern okay so you don't want a real delicate pattern um, that because then you're gonna cover up this whole um, beautiful colored sheet so um, you want a pretty bold pattern to do this with but I was getting this ready to demo to you and look what I discovered and I you know it's probably nothing new but if I okay so this is the leftover foil, of course, and if I were to attach this, where did I have that? Okay, just offset a little bit. Isn't that a cool look, you know? So I know the foil itself could be attached, um, probably not glue, um, some kind of very thin uh, 
tape or something but you could attach this it would have to be you know lined up and just use it offset and you'd have a very cool look but what we're going to do is take the leftover foil and put it through with one of these color art foilable sheets and we're going to get another look so you can have the white or the black or the colored toner and all of these are very 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 inexpensive and don't require any specialty dyes which I think is just great so while I'm putting that through I'll show you a couple more I made um, Pink and Maine also has other fo foil bowls um, this one happens to be what they're calling the big happy one and I did that with that pink purple leopard foil and um, got that easy card in just seconds okay and then here's one um, that I also did again I was saying that those patterns this one is like the blue camo would be perfect for masculine cards so put a piece of foil on top run it through put it together easy fast cards So let's see. Very little waste. And now we have that pattern. We have the blue foil. And then we have the color coming through with that ombre change of colors. Isn't that pretty? And that's just um, using the new foilable products and colored foil sheets that are available now in the market. Um, a few other things, uh, there is now um, adhesive uh, transfers, so you don't even need heat on most of these. Um, you can actually use glitter, flock, embossing powder, or foil, and seeing as I'm a foil girl, I just love it, I generally do foil. Um, Penny Black has some gorgeous ones, and hers you don't need heat at all, and you don't even really need any pressure. Um, you can just use a stick or something. You transfer the adhesive, and then you put the foil on, and then you um, press on it again. And then Deco Foil has other adhesive transfers. Um, one of the first cards I showed you, I just used the Happy Happy Birthday um, out of this one. So again, many, many products available. Let's um, just try using that um, Penny Black one I showed you. Um, this one says, sending you a hug. Now, um, all you do is you take the top sheet off. You're trying not to touch the word part. It was coming and then... There it is, okay. and you press it down on your paper. Now, again, you can just use a bone folder or your fingers and press hard. I'll be honest, I don't have a lot of strength in my wrists, so I like to use a die cut machine to do this. Now, you don't have to, um, but you're gonna get good, even pressure um, to do it that way and so all I'm going to do is just quickly run this through and then you Find some foil, which I have. Let me give that. Let me find that, and I'll be right back. So I found some foil, and I'm just going to run this through again. You don't really need a die cutting machine for the pressure, but um, I find it gives the best even pressure. Um, there's never any question that I missed an area um, or anything like that. So that is what. <laughs> okay, I showed you something not to do. Obviously, I needed to um, pull this part off before I put the foil on. <laughs> so I exposed the adhesive that has been um, pushed on there. And then I will cover that up. 
and we'll run that through again. <laughs> for a better ta-da moment, right? I love the sparkle of foil, and I actually don't stamp all that much anymore because if I can find other ways of adding sparkle and making a beautiful sentiment even more beautiful, that's what I do. Uh, sticking a little bit, but it came off. And now we have a beautiful sending you a hug that's been foiled. Now that's one of those penny black adhesive transfers. And I'm going to use this to make a card. Um, I have all these beautiful pieces that we, I did, um, I made before with the um, foil and then with the white sheets for the second layer. I've cut those into some strips and I'm going to make um, a layered card. Um, I have a template here um, that this is a 12 by five and a half and we're going to score at one and a half, three, five and a half and eight and then fold it and create a tri-fold um, card with all those beautiful layers of foil. So here's my piece of 12 by five and a half and I'm going to score it at one and a half three inches, five and a half, and then of course this isn't a big board so I'm just going to flip it and score it at four inches and that would have been the eight inch line. And then we're going to go and fold each one of these up and down kind of like an accordion to create that trifold look. I have cut these into pieces um, we have this piece here that's the last layer and that is three and three quarters by five and a quarter and that's the one where I said sending you a hug so we're going to attach that to the last part Um, we're going to start with these two, and these are cut at one and a quarter by five and a quarter. Um, I put numbers on the back um, when I cut these so that I know um, this is one and this is two, and the pattern is going to kind of continue from one into the other, although we will have a little bit of a border. I tried attaching these with liquid glue, and I prefer that, especially when you want an even border. But um, what I found was um, the glue, if there was a little dot of it, which you tend to get, um, did kind of show through these. Um, so I like made little dots on there, little uh, raised areas. So I'm going to use um, my Gina K uh, tape runner, and I want to start with number one. And the number one is also telling me that that's the top. So, put that down and try to have an even border. And there's the number two. So there are the first two folds. And then these layered sheets um, are 
two and a quarter by five and a quarter although the second one isn't quite as big but that's okay um, I uh, because there wasn't enough um, to cut two exactly that size but I think it's still gonna cover it up enough and show more of that beautiful foiled beauty So we have the foil on the first two that have more of that aqua uh, with the hearts movement. And then this has that in the flowers. And um, we have sending you a hug. Then I did another one of those uh, penny black transfers. And I did this love, which is going to be a belly band. And we're going to put it around the card. And put the belly band together, which will hold the card together to mail. And then, of course, they'll remove it and see all that foiled beauty. Here's another one that I made like that. Um, I have the uh, wooden grain uh, kind of brownish uh, bronze one there with uh, again the white contrast and that beautiful toner pattern and then you are loved wishing you well are more of those adhesive transfers so I had great fun uh, making all of these cards and all of the toner foil techniques can be done on an inexpensive laminator and some don't even need that. So easy sparkly foil beauty for just pennies. I hope you give some of these ideas and products a try.